Hello guys and welcome to possibly a brand new series which I'm yet to name at the time of recording. Anyway, in each episode I'm going to be talking about a specific location, the walks, the environment and some local amenities and of course the photographic opportunities that location has to offer. During the video I'm also going to be making a platinum palladium print from an image that I've taken from that location and give you a little bit of a behind the scenes look into the image and the composition. So today's location is the wonderful Ogwin Valley which is located in the beautiful Welsh National Park of Snowdonia. It truly is a magical place and offers so much for walkers and photographers alike. It's definitely you know, a location I like to visit at least twice a year because I just believe it has so much to offer and it really is a magical place. So this is the image I will be hand printing today in platinum and palladium. As an aside, if you are interested in the printing process, in my next video I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of all the steps I take to make these prints. So if you're interested in that, please be sure to check out that video. If it's already available, I'll link it at the top and down in the description. So this image here is of the top third of the mountain Trivan. Now the reason I chose this image is that it offers a lot of texture, shape and tonality, which I think will work well as a black and white image. So my first step in the printing process is to make a digital negative of this image, which I'll then print onto transparency film, ready for the platinum printing process. So while I'm busy <laughs> printing this negative out, please sit back and enjoy some of the wonderful views and some location information about the amazing Ogwin Valley in Snowdonia's National Park. Now, being English, my pronunciation of the Welsh mountains and lakes is probably not the best, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. So apologies if there are a few inconsistencies, but I'll put the names of everything on the screen in writing for you too. So the Ogwin Valley lies to the south of Bangor in North Wales and spreads through two counties, Gwynedd and Conway. It is bordered on one side by the Glidderau and on the other by the Carnadu mountain range. The river Ogwin flows through it, separating the two mountain ranges. The Ogwin Valley offers easy access with the A5 running straight through its heart. Alongside the roadside, beneath Trivan, sits Hlyn Ogwin, a wonderful valley lake that offers fabulous views of the mountains of Egan, Peniol Wen, and also Trivan. Beneath Trivan, there are several large free parking areas, which do fill up quite quickly during the weekends. Further west towards the end of Lynn Ogwen, you'll come to Ogwen Cottage. Here there's a large paid car park, amenities and a cafe. There's also the start of many of the walking routes in the area. From the Ogwen Cottage, the walk around Lynn Idwell offers a mountain experience that is unmatched for accessibility and views. You really do feel like you're in the heart of the mountains on this short walk. The walk starts at the Ogwy Cottage and navigates all the way around Llyn Idwell before you pick up the main path back to the cottage. Now I've taken my family on this walk several times and they love it, especially in the summer when they can dip their toes in the lake to cool down. So if you're pushed for time, have young children or don't fancy taking on the high ground, this walk is definitely for you. Another favourite of mine is Egan returning via the Devil's Kitchen. The views on this walk are truly wonderful, but you are made to work for them. The top section of Egan is fairly steep, so personally I would avoid this in high winds or icy conditions unless you have experience and the equipment, but the rewards are very high indeed. After the summit of Egan, the walk through down to Devil's Kitchen is very pleasant and easy, but don't be led into thinking the work is done though, as the descent through the endless stone staircase of the Devil's Kitchen goes on and on, and definitely makes the legs wobble, but with every step comes a new view which urges you on until you finally reach the base of Hint Idwell and make your return to the cottage. Another of my firm favourites is a walk which circumnavigates the mountain of Trivan, and it is this walk in which I took the image that I'm printing today. To the eastern edge of Hlyn Ogwen sits two campsites, Gwen Goth Uchaf and Gwen Goth Isaf. Camping rates are as little as £4 and both have bunkhouse accommodation too. Now I've stayed at both of these and they definitely come highly recommended if you wish to camp near the mountains but don't fancy the challenges of a wild camp. The walk around Trivan starts at the Gwyngoff Isaf campsite and heads straight up the ridgeline behind the campsite. 
The path is moderately steep and isn't really way marked, but if you keep Trevan on your right and keep high on the ridge, you will eventually end up at the small lakes called Llyn Casig Freith. From here you get lovely views of Trevan and the valley beneath. After passing the small lake, you take a right on the old miners track and come to the southern route which ascends Trevan. Now you have the decision to make, do you go for the summit of Trevan or carry on past Linbok Willid and on to the Ogwin Cottage. If conditions are favourable and your legs can stand it, the Trifan summit is without a shadow of a doubt one of the most rewarding mountains in Wales. There's a bit of scrambling involved near the top and the path isn't that clear, but exposure is limited if you follow the shiny rocks of others' footsteps. On my first visit here, I visited the summit and continued back to the campsite via Lind Bokwilid and on to the Ockwin Cottage. But the option is there should you wish to take on the more difficult path down the north ridge of Trivan. So I've got my digital negative printed now. I'm just gonna grab that out of the printer. Still not completely dry. So I'll just pop that down there so you can see exactly what we've got. We've got the reverse image there, ready to be contact printed. So the next stage is to put the emulsion onto the paper. Excuse if you can hear the rain on the roof right now, it's absolutely hammering it down. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get this paper coated. So in here I've got my chemistry mixed up already. I've got some platinum, palladium and some ferric oxalate. I'm gonna put this on the paper now, spread it out and uh, get it ready for the print. To be uh, nice and steady with this process, try and get it as even as possible. So that is my paper coated, a little bit of dust on there, but that's not gonna matter. I'm gonna pop this in here for the moment, uh, just keep that nice and dark. While that's drying, um, let me show you some images that I've taken uh, throughout the Ogborn Valley, and then we'll come back and uh, develop this print. So this first image here is taken from the start of Clin Idwal. Across the lake, you can see the Devil's Kitchen, which I mentioned earlier. Now this next image is taken from the opposite side of the lake looking back towards Peniel Wen. Another wonderful mountain range that I'm yet to conquer. This one is a straight on shot of Egan with some moody skies, taken from a similar position to the earlier shot looking across Clint Idwell. About halfway up Egan, there's a great spot with these jaggedy rocks that offer good foreground for a shot looking back down the valley with Clint Ogwen focal point in the image. From across the other side of Hlyn Idwal, we have the wonderful Hlyn Bok Willard, which again offers wonderful views and makes a great subject. Across Hlyn Ogwen, we have wonderful photographic opportunities with the Afan Lur as a fabulous foreground, with Trivan as a subject. Further up, there's some nice styles and walls too that can offer something a little different if there isn't much water flowing down the mountain streams. Right, the paper is dry, so I'm gonna get that out, but before I do, because now it's light sensitive, I'm gonna turn my light off here, so things are gonna get a little bit darker. Um, but I don't think these lights kick out too much UV light, but um, we don't wanna take any risks, so I'm just gonna turn off this main light. I'm gonna pop this in my printing frame. And here's the digital negative, which I'm gonna place print side down on top of my sensitized paper. Try and get it nice and uh, lined up. Flip it over. That looks good. Right, let's turn
turn this light back on so you can see me. So yes, we've got the print in the UV box there ready to be exposed. I'm gonna turn that light on in a second, expose it to UV light for around about 10 minutes. And while that's exposing, let's go back to the wonderful Snowdonia National Park and I'll talk a little bit about the composition, my camera settings, and a little bit of footage. And then we'll come back and we'll develop this print. So the composition from these small lakes here is a fairly unique look at Trivan as it's only the top third of the mountain that is visible. But the small Kim or mountain lake offers some wonderful foreground interest and really leads the eye into the scene. Funnily enough, I never considered a black and white at the time, but I actually think it works better as a mono image. The different shapes and the full tonal range definitely help. So compositionally, it's fairly straightforward. I try to use the lake as a lead in line with the mountain and clouds as my backdrop. Settings wise, uh, I'm at f8, ISO 200, and my shutter speed is at 1 250th of a second, which helps to freeze the motion in the moving grasses. I did use a circular polarizer for this shot too, to help reduce some of the glare in the water and to make the clouds pop a little. Our exposure is now finished. Just whip that out of there. So we're probably not going to see a lot of difference with the actual image. That's where the magic comes in when we start to develop the print. Pop that in there so you can see it. So you can't really see an image on the paper until we throw the developer onto it. So this is where the magic happens and we need to get this on as quickly as possible. I'm gonna hit my timer. And then we can start to see the image appear almost instantly. And that's one of the magical things about this style of printing. And it's uh, truly rewarding. I really do enjoy the whole process. Now the developer will sit in here for a couple of minutes and just soak into the paper. While we're doing that, Let's look at a few of the places that I'm yet to explore in the Ogwin Valley. There's so much to shoot and explore in this area that it's impossible to cover everything in a single video and there are many areas I'm yet to explore myself. The areas around the Ogwin Falls are definitely an area I would like to explore with my large format camera. From this vantage point there's a different view of Trevan with waterfalls as a good foreground. Behind Trevan we have the wonderful glitters and this is a hike I've been wanting to do for some time, so hopefully this will be the year for that. Back over to Peniolwen and beyond to the Karnadu is literally a whole another world in which it's only accessible with a big arduous hike, so that's probably one for a wild camp I think and an area I just can't wait to explore. Well guys, what an amazing place the Ogwin Valley is. It really is a stunning place. Now again, um, apologies for the really crappy pronunciation of the Welsh uh, place names, valleys and mountains. I knew I wasn't going to do a very good job of it, but I figured it was better to uh, try and fail than not try at all. So hopefully I've not offended anybody and maybe you probably even found it quite amusing. Anyway, the print is all finished, um, I'm really pleased with it, um, there are some imperfections, I failed on a, in a few areas but you know, every single time I make a platinum palladium print, I learn something new, not just about the printing process but also my photography as well, so it's, uh, it really is an amazing process and it's very very rewarding. So. In my next video, like I mentioned before, I'm going to go over the printing process from mixing the chemistry to developing the final print. I'm also going to take a look at this image and talk about where I failed, a few of the areas that I could improve on. Um, but overall, yeah, I'm really happy the way it looks. So a couple of the walks I talked about earlier in the video, the Egan and the Trivan route, I've actually done blog posts for um, they're on my website and it details the whole route, exactly where they're located loads of information, what, what to look out for, detailed maps and guidance, the distance, the height, all of those sort of things that you've got to go through to do the walk. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave the links for both of those down in the description. Also, a lot of the footage from this video was taken over the course of the last three years from various vlogs I've done in the Ogwen Valley. Now, I've linked 
the videos, uh, the vlogs I've done as well in the Ogwin Valley, uh, if you fancy checking those out, I think there's three or maybe even four, um, and I'll link them down below. Don't be too harsh on me though, because some of those videos are from like when I first started YouTube and things have changed a fair bit, I think, since I started. I'm definitely not as uncomfortable in front of the camera now as I was when I first started. So yeah, don't be too harsh on me. So if you haven't checked out the Photographer's Clubhouse, I'll leave a link over there and down in the description. Over there we have monthly galleries and uh, we do all sorts of like chit chat in the message boards and there's monthly videos from myself there too. Some of my online classes are over there. Heaps to do, lots of extra footage from behind the scenes too. So yeah, if you fancy checking that out and supporting the channel, that would be much appreciated. Also, a massive thanks to everybody that continues to support the channel in terms of liking, sharing and commenting on these videos. Your support is much appreciated and I really do value your time. So once again, thanks so much for watching this video. Take care and I'll see you next week.